uh, my opponents because uh, these days um, we have been in Hong Kong, we have been troubled by all these right, righteous events, and we also know that also know that um, um, there, there there have been so many young voters, you know, um, young people coming out to register as voters this year. There may be some um, some change in the in the in the in the political landscape. However, we we should not fear anything because we are quite confident that in Hong Kong we have a substantial majority of the population who are who is in support of a order and um, and a uh, 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 law-abiding society. So I would appeal to everyone. Uh, in Hong Kong, those who disagree with violence and disagree with all these sort of the uh, destructive events happening in Hong Kong should come out and use their sacred vote to vote for those people who are in favor and in support of a constructive society. And we need to restore back to the uh, society that it should be uh, conducted in an orderly fashion. So I'm quite confident. I believe that uh, voters, they are conscientious. They would come out to vote. And judging on the turnout rate this morning for the first hour, um, only in this particular district, 400, 450 have already come out to, to vote. Um, out of how many? 8,700 registered vote count. So that is already 5%. Uh, normally, for each district, the, the, the uh, turnout rate would be around 50 or 55. But I would imagine this year, it would be around 60. So for the entire um, voting uh, hours today, I would humbly and conservatively consider that there should be a, around 5,002 or 5,003 voters coming out to vote. So looking at the, the past hour, the previous hour starting from 7.30 to 8.30, we already had um, for that 450, that is almost 8% of the so-called um, the estimate uh, 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 voters' um, uh, population. But given the total population of Chunmen, only 60% of people register to vote. Do you, are you worried about the representative, the scale of representative? No, not at all. Uh, in fact, uh, that is quite an average figure. Um, of course, uh, in each in each district, normally uh, that is the average figure. The reason why that is obvious um, because of some are uh, the. Young people who are under age, under 18, they are not qualified, eligible to register as a voter. And some uh, uh, possibly uh, elderly people, they may not have the um, uh, awareness to, to do the, the registration. So discounting all this, well, some of them may not be in Hong Kong, they may be working outside Hong Kong, be it in the mainland or, 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 or elsewhere. So therefore, the 60% uh, regis registration rate within a particular district, that is already considered to be quite a high figure already. That is more important to look at, for us to look at, is, is about the, the turnout rate. So the turnout rate, if it is, if it could be commanded up to 50, 60%, that is, I believe, will be the top of the, uh, the entire district. You also mentioned about the uh, young people. A quarter of the young people registered to vote. So a quarter of them are young people. How would you, because they are also the majority who participate the the pro protest. How would you evaluate the outcome of that? Uh, certainly, there will be impact, and in fact, uh, that is something that we, I would not underestimate. Uh, hey, Zhang Zhang, you hello. Oh, thank you, thank you, man. <laughs> well, there we go. Um, uh, uh, it, it's quite true that um, we have seen, uh, we have witnessed for the last five and a half months time, youngsters have their own conviction of belief, and uh, some of them, I would say, um, uh, in fact, the majority of them, for, for those who appear. Uh, at the street making demonstrations. They have been seriously misled 
And, and, and the reason for that is simply because we have a very problem, a big problem in our education system.